Forget the sci-fi movies. AI isn't just about robots taking over jobs. It's already deeply embedded in your daily corporate communications, operating in the shadows, shaping decisions and perceptions. This video will expose the silent language of corporate AI that's influencing everything from your inbox to the boardroom and why you need to understand it. Welcome back. If you think AI is just ChatGPT and self-driving cars, you're missing the real story. The most powerful AI in the business world isn't the one you talk to. It's the one that watches, analyzes, and curates your entire professional reality. We're talking about the invisible layer of intelligence inside the tools you use every single day. It's making silent judgments about what you see, what you don't, and even how you're perceived. And today, we're pulling back the curtain. Let's get specific. Where is this silent AI hiding? I'll give you four prime examples. First, your inbox. Tools like Outlook and Gmail don't just show you emails in the order they arrive, and AI is constantly scoring them. It decides what's important and what gets banished to the promotions or other tab. Think about the implications. A crucial message from a new client? A game-changing idea from a junior employee? The AI might decide its noise. You are not seeing a raw feed of communication. You're seeing a curated reality designed for efficiency, but one that can easily create blind spots. Example 2. Customer Feedback Companies use AI to perform sentiment analysis on support tickets, reviews, and social media. It automatically labels customers as angry or satisfied. This shapes the company's entire perception of its customer base. If the AI is bad at detecting sarcasm or nuanced frustration, a growing problem can be systematically filtered out of the reports that go to management. The voice of the dissatisfied customer is silently erased before it reaches the boardroom. Example 3. Getting a job. Most large companies use applicant tracking systems with AI that scans resumes for keywords before a human ever sees them. This means a brilliant candidate with a non-traditional background, or who simply didn't use the right corporate buzzwords, can be instantly filtered out. The AI isn't judging talent, it's judging a document against a pattern. It shapes the talent pool, and ultimately, the culture of the company, based on a predefined checklist. And finally, perhaps the most subtle one, communication analytics on platforms like Microsoft Viva or Slack. These tools analyze your activity, how often you message, who you talk to, how quickly you reply, to create a productivity or collaboration score. You are being quantified. Your value as an employee is being translated into data points. This creates a narrative about your performance, all based on your digital exhaust, often without your explicit knowledge. It's a silent, constant performance review. So, what's the big deal? We have these four invisible forces, the editor, the mood ring, the gatekeeper, and the evaluator, all operating silently. The problem is twofold. First, the black box. We often don't know exactly how these AIs make their decisions. The logic is buried in complex algorithms. And second, algorithmic bias. These systems are trained on historical data. If your company historically hired mostly people from one background, the AI will learn to favor that background. If good communication has always meant being loud and frequent, the AI will penalize the quiet thinker. It automates and scales the biases of the past. Leaders are then making multi-million dollar decisions on hiring, on strategy, on product, based on this filtered, potentially skewed, data-driven reality. 
They're trying to read the market, but they're reading a version of the market that has been pre-edited by an AI. Now, this isn't a call to smash the machines. This is a call for digital literacy. You don't need to be a programmer. You need to be a critical thinker. You need to start asking new questions. When you look at your prioritized inbox, ask, what's in my other folder? When you see a customer satisfaction report, ask, how is this data categorized? When you're hiring, ask, what is our ATS filtering for and what amazing talent might it be filtering out? Understand the tools your company uses. Be the person in the room who questions the source of the data. This isn't about paranoia. It's about awareness. It's about taking back control of your perception. What did the AI decide to show me? And what did it decide to hide? If this got you thinking, hit that like button and subscribe for more content that decodes the modern workplace. I'd love to hear your experiences. Have you encountered this silent AI? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.